Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate um, a, a rock star cookie recipe. Um, and I had one that a, a local um, cookie store had, and I thought it was a bit dry, so I've kind of changed the recipe quite a bit. Um, so to start with, it, it, put in, it, takes, it makes a big batch. I probably should have halved it, um, but um, it makes a big batch. I'm going to put um, four, two cups of butter, which is one pound. It makes it easy to um, measure it. <laughs> Just take a pound of butter. Um, and then it takes um, one cup of granulated sugar, two cups of brown sugar, Oops, this way. Um, and I like to mix that up. Frothy. Once the butter's mixed up, and it's really nice having softened butter. Um, but not melted, just softened. So I add two eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, you measure your vanilla? <laughs> I do. Two shots for me. Um, and now I now I mix it with frothy sugar and the butter. I just mix until it's combined. Now the um, eggs and vanilla is combined. I add the dry ingredients. Um, and this takes three and a third cup three and three-fourths cup of flour. And three-fourths, I didn't get it three-quarters, so that's pretty close to three-quarters. But you can get it three-fourths measurement. Okay, um, and then I have um, two two teaspoons of um, baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and actually um, ingredient it, that I don't usually do, um, but it's two tablespoons of cornstarch. And this makes it a nice, um, uh, thicker cookie without make, adding more flour to make it dry. Okay, so we'll just put that in. using a cookie paddle um, because it's strong enough to do thicker cookies um, and you don't have to change into the dough hook. You could use just a dough hook or um, I think it's too thick to just do the um, whips. whips. Thank you. So just, just do this enough to combine to make sure the salt and everything is Okay, now um, this takes a lot of chocolate chips. It's two cups of chocolate chips. And the recipe calls for half cho milk chocolate, half um, semi-sweet. Um, it calls it actually semi-sweet chunks. You can use some white. You can use any kind. My husband happens to just like um, milk chocolate. So these are these mini milk chocolate yeah. chips are hard to find. Yeah, but you could use any, any size. Right. If you like a bigger chunk, it's kind of nice to have chocolate all through. And then it takes, um, let me move this. It takes um, one and a half cups of, it calls for toffee bits. I actually like the Heath bars. It's got a little more chocolate on it. 
And so I measured out, this is one cup of the Heath bars. Um, and this was how much was left over. So it's a little over a half a cup. So I'm thinking instead of just leaving them in the bag, of course I could just eat them, but I'm gonna put them in here, all of them in here. So I could just put one bag. And then the other thing that gives it a little crunch is you put one and a half um, cups of crushed um, pretzels. And I'm using these tw twisty kind. Oh, I opened it up upside down. But if you go the upside down, it's just the gold, the rolled gold, and it's just the regular twisted kind. Um, and I do it with a rolling pin, and I just kind of tap it, because you don't want it crushed and fine. You want the pieces of crunch in it. So I don't want big ones, but I like big so if you can see, there's some longer pieces in here and some shorter ones. So it just takes a light tap. Yeah, yeah. They're not rolling, crushing them in any fine. So you can see, I, I like pieces. If you don't like them, you can leave them out or you can do more fine, whatever you want. We ought to try putting them through the dicer. Oh, that would be interesting to do. Okay. up and I'm going to use this size um, the recipe calls for it says you could use a third of a cup which um, is this size um, I find if you were going to serve one big cookie for something special and wrap it up individually especially that would be great I find it just for a cookie it's a little large for me but I'm using a little bigger than the normal cookie scoop I'm just doing them three across because they're so big. And you can do the regular cookie scoop size, the size 40, which is about a tablespoon and a half, um, and put them closer together. So there you go. That's the uh, Rockstar Cookies.